ever wondered about divine interventions? Are they grand or subtle? Let me share a tale that might shift your view. It's an old legend from a distant monastery in the Misty Mountains. This place is famous for the Midnight Choir. These monks were different. They sang not at sunrise or sunset, but at midnight. Their hymns, not for the living or the dead, but for spirits in limbo. Their melodies supposedly soothed troubled souls, leading them towards the light. One fateful night, a lost and weary traveler stumbled upon this monastery. As midnight drew near, the hauntingly beautiful hymns of the choir filled the air, wrapping his troubled heart in a blanket of inexplicable peace. But as the first light of dawn began to peek over the horizon, the choir and their ethereal hymns disappeared, leaving no trace behind. Moved and rejuvenated, the traveller went forth into the world, sharing tales of the mysterious midnight choir. Yet, no one else ever found that monastery. It was as if it existed only for those pure of heart and spirit, hidden away in a realm untouched by the mundane. So in those moments when the world feels heavy, when hope seems a distant memory, remember the legend of the Midnight Choir. Divine interventions and messages might not always come in grand gestures. Sometimes they're found in the fleeting ephemeral moments, in the quiet instance where faith is tested. It's there that the presence and love of the divine resonate the most. The legend of the Midnight Choir, with its blend of mystique and music, serves as a reminder of the spiritual comfort that can be found in the most unexpected places and times. It emphasizes the omnipresent nature of divine grace, a comforting thought indeed for those seeking spiritual guidance and solace. So, the next time you find yourself awake at midnight, listen closely. Perhaps you too might hear the faint strains of a hymn, a gentle reminder of the divine grace that's always around us, waiting to be acknowledged.